I want to welcome you back to resumes to jobs.com. This is Con Ozel, and I'm going to be chatting with you today about creating or at least using your RSS reader as a strategic tool during the job search. Now, this video is being recorded in HD, so if you would, you can go down to the bottom, <clears throat> the box down in the bottom right corner of your screen and click on HD. It'll give you a better resolution. Um, of the video that I'm taking for you here and we're starting out on my website and so the first thing we want to do <clears throat> is I hope that you've gone through the other videos and probably you're already an RSS uh, fee, uh, reader user and uh, if you are then this is great then we can just get right to the um, right to the research here and show you how to set up some some cool feeds for you to use in your reader uh, you may already know this, and if you do, then that's awesome, fantastic, but I would venture to guess there's a lot of folks out there in the job hunt right now that p probably aren't using this. Now, there's two different angles uh, from, from which I, I would like you to use this tool. I think it's potentially useful. One is you want to you can set the tool up so you can have multiple job postings feed right into your reader, and secondly, you want to have your target list to cover. We're going to cover in other sections and obviously other material, teleconferences and so forth that obviously job boards is not the number one way to find your job because only 12 percent of jobs are filled through the job boards but it's definitely a great way to get access to opportunities that are out there. You want to get your resume out there in front of as many people as you can in the job search process but also in addition to that as a secondary activity you want to have your target list of companies. So I haven't posted my um, strategy on that yet uh, but building a target list of companies is more complicated and that'll be a totally separate subject but when you have your target list of 15 20 25 50 companies and you know I would take it anywhere from 10 to 100 really whatever you're comfortable working with you have that target list you want to make sure that you're up to speed on all the information that's being pumped out by those companies and a great way to do that is through their RSS feeds. So we're going to look at both those things today and make sure you get these items set up. So if you haven't read my previous articles, please go back and read them um, and get up to speed on RSS, how to set up your RSS read feeder or feed reader, and we'll go ahead and move forward in, in setting up your tools here. So first thing you want to do is um, let's go to Indeed. Right? Indeed, in fact, <clears throat> Let me show you something really quick here on my uh, website. You can go to the nav bar and under jab, jobs, you can search jobs on Indeed uh, right here on my website actually. So if you click on that, it'll bring you to the search engine. You can type in um, the location and the type of job that you're looking for and it'll feed out for you um, jobs that have been posted in that city with the position that you're looking for. So I've provided you with these great tools. Indeed is basically a search engine that goes out and searches jobs that are posted on the internet and I, I've embedded that right into my website here. The other one is Simply Hired. So you can also access uh, my Simply Hired job board right here from my website and type in whatever it is you're looking for say sales in Miami and what it's going to do ask you Miami Florida and it's going to pump out all the sales opportunities for you right now in Miami but <clears throat> so those are two resources for you and those are great because those are those are job board search engines that you can use right here from my website I've just embedded them in here for you but <clears throat> if you want these going into your uh, RSS reader then what you need to do is go to the Indeed website, which is www.indeed.com. And we are in the Indeed USA website. Type in whatever it is you're looking for. Let's say Sales San Diego. Find jobs. <clears throat> and what it does is it starts to list the jobs for you. 15 days ago, 29 days ago, one day ago, one day ago, blah, blah, blah. So you have all these jobs here that are posted. You can go and scroll through multiple pages. And basically what it's doing is it's a search engine, so it's going and scraping jobs that have been posted to these other websites. For example, Verizon Wireless, K-Force, Wrigley, the McGraw-Hill Company. So it's going out LinkedIn. It goes out and scrapes the jobs that are sitting out there on other job boards 
uh, and then it, com it consolidates those into one location. So maybe you want to have these feed directly into your RSS feed reader. So what you do is you click on, here we are here, I hope you're following me, the RSS job feed, and when you click on that, it's going to take you to one of these subscribe now, and I'm not seeing the Google one on here. So what I can do is I can take the URL address up top. If I click on it, right click, copy. Now I can open a new tab and go to my Google Reader and I'm gonna pause here and meet you on the inside alright so here we are on the inside of the Google Reader and I am now going to set up not sure what this is Okay, I'm now going to add a new subscription. So we copied that URL. I'm going to right click and paste it in here. Click add. So now what I have is I have a feed, uh, sales jobs in San Diego, California from indeed.com. Just feeding right into my RSS reader. So here are all the jobs and it tells you when they're posted and you can have these. So now you can set up a folder. Let's say you want to set up a folder for jobs okay and then within that folder you might want to set up a subfolder let's see if we can do that here <clears throat> and type indeed and you can name these whatever you want like uh, sales san diego for example and what you can do now is you can take that and uh, there we go. So I just moved it up. So now you can either sort, you can either drop all your feeds into the jobs folder or you can segregate it out more because let's say you wanted to go to Simply Hired, which is another great. Um, engine <clears throat> that collects and consolidates these jobs from multiple job boards. Let's get on the USA one. Okay, Miami, Florida. Let's see, you're looking for sales in Miami, Florida. And here you go. So now it's listing for you the sales jobs that are available in Miami, Florida. Okay, in the same way, so now you have your list of sales jobs in Miami, Florida. And right up here at the top, you can find these on most job boards. It'll say view as view as RSS feed. So when we click on that, you get this big thing. You want the URL. Right click, copy, go back to your reader, add subscription, right click, paste, click add. And there we have it. So now we have our sales jobs headings right here in your RSS reader and you could drop that into your jobs folder you can create a new folder simply hire sales Miami and let's um, have a look down here And what you'll see, I'm going to close these. So what you see now <clears throat> is down in your subscriptions, you'll see you have your Indeed Sales San Diego. You have your Simply Hired Sales. You have your jobs, which includes both, whether you want to look at your Indeed postings or your Miami Simply Hired postings. And you can do the same. You can do an Indeed in here for Miami. You can do a simply hired in here from Miami then you can go out to multiple job boards most job boards are going to have these um, RSS feeds for you so now you can consolidate all of them into one location you don't have to go to all the different job boards you can look at what's out there right here from one location